This is a follow-up video to the one I did the other day about wearing masks and how to keep from touching your face to contaminate uh, yourself and inoculate your mucous membranes with, uh, with viruses and illness. Um, in the current COVID-19 era, of course, masks are hard to come by. And so people are having to reuse the masks that they have. Um, a dirty mask is thought to lose more than 50% of its effectiveness uh, due to being dirty. So uh, damp masks also uh, lose the vast majority of their effectiveness. So a mask to be effective has to be clean and therefore, if you can't get them, you have to clean the ones that you've got. Um, this is a hardware store N95 style mask. Um, the N95 masks actually work uh, in part because they have electrostatic charge. Uh, this is a polypropylene material and it has an electrostatic charge. Early on, people had talked about cleaning these masks with uh, spraying them with bleach solutions or spraying them with alcohol. Uh, the alcohol and the bleach solutions actually remove the majority of the electrostatic charge and can reduce the effectiveness of the mask by over 50%. Um, and so you don't want to do that. Uh, so different ways to clean a mask like this. Uh, first of all, just leaving it alone for three or four days, uh, the, the viruses generally are, are thought not to survive that long. And uh, so just leaving the, the mask in a dry uh, place for three or four days, it will probably uh, disinfect on its own. Inter interestingly, ultraviolet breaks down the polypropylene uh, material, so you don't want to put them out in the sun or put them uh, under an ultraviolet light or something like that. Although ultraviolet does a great job of killing viruses, it degrades the, the materials in the mask. Uh, hospitals are actually reusing N95 uh, hospital masks by putting them in a, uh, a vapor chamber with hydrogen peroxide that appears to work. Um, those of us who don't have a vapor chamber for uh, hydrogen peroxide, which is everybody except hospitals, um, have to use other methods. So again, leaving it by itself probably uh, will, will um, neutralize any viruses that are on it over time. You can also clip it in an oven. You want to use a wooden um, uh, clothespin because the, the metals in the oven will actually become much hotter than the ambient temperature in the oven. Um, and uh, the standard is that they, if, if you heat the, the mask to 158 degrees for 38 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, um, uh, it will disinfect the mask and uh, will will remove any viral load that's on it. It will also dry it. Um, I don't know about you, but my oven, I can't set to 158 degrees. So I would probably set it to 160 degrees and leave it there for 30 minutes. So that's an option with this type of mask. Um, the same can be done with these uh, disposable paper masks. Um, uh, the basic concept behind wearing a mask uh, when it comes to something like COVID-19 is to prevent droplets from contacting your mucous membranes like your nose and your mouth. Um, and again, as I mentioned in my other video, the most important thing is not to touch your face, not to fiddle with your mask, not to move your mask. It has to cover the nose and mouth. And once you have it there, you frankly shouldn't touch it unless you have just completely cleaned your hands um, because Otherwise, you're just transferring whatever's on your hands directly onto the mask, and it does very little good for you at that point. Um, obviously, cloth masks, masks that you can make at home, those can be laundered, uh, just like any t-shirt material or, or other cloth. Um, so, just some thoughts. Uh, basically, uh, leaving the masks uh, by themselves or heating them in an oven will disinfect them. Uh, for cloth masks, you can wash them. Um, the same goes for these paper masks. Those can be heated in an oven or uh, left uh, on their own for three or four days, and they will disinfect um, just by not being in contact with you. Again, remove them if they're soiled or wet, because soiled and wet masks do not work as well as uh, masks that are clean and dry. Thank you very much. 
have a very healthy uh, COVID-19 season if possible.